Ever wondered how energy can be your secret weapon in strategizing? Well, it's time to delve into the profound wisdom of Sun Tzu's The Art of War, specifically focusing on its enlightening fifth chapter, Energy. This chapter unveils the art of harnessing and directing energy in strategic endeavors. It emphasizes on the crucial role of aligning forces and resources to achieve overwhelming power, transforming any battlefield, be it corporate or personal, into a playground of victory. Imagine being able to channelize your strengths, resources, and efforts so effectively that you create an unstoppable momentum towards your goals. This is the essence of, of strategic energy. It's about flexibility, unity, direction, and the effective management of resources. It's about turning the tide, creating waves of impact that leave an indelible mark. By mastering the strategic use of energy, you can turn the tide in any situation. Sun Tzu's The Art of War presents intriguing ideas about harnessing energy. This ancient text teaches us that strategy isn't just about raw power. It's also about how effectively you can direct that power. Let's dive into this concept a little deeper. Firstly, Sun Tzu emphasizes the strategic use of strength and flexibility. Think of it as a bamboo shoot. It's incredibly strong, yet it bends with the wind instead of breaking. Similarly, in strategy, being rigid can lead to downfall. It's crucial to remain flexible, adapting to changes and making the most of emerging opportunities. Secondly, the importance of unity and direction in applying force is paramount. Imagine a flock of birds flying in formation. Individually, each bird contributes a small amount of energy, but together, they create a powerful force that can travel great distances. In the same way, aligning our efforts towards a common goal can generate a formidable momentum that's hard to stop. Lastly, we have the concept of managing and directing energy effectively. Picture a river. If left unchecked, its water can spread out, losing power, and becoming stagnant. But when it's channeled into a narrow path, it becomes a rushing torrent, capable of powering entire cities. Similarly, in our strategic endeavors, we need to focus our energies, guiding them towards the goals we want to achieve. Now, these concepts might sound abstract, but they have practical applications. Consider a business, for example. By remaining flexible, it can pivot in response to market changes. By aligning its team towards a common vision, it can achieve ambitious targets. And by focusing its resources, it can dominate a niche market, outperforming larger competitors. These are the key concepts of harnessing energy as outlined in Sun Tzu's The Art of War. As we delve deeper into this text, we'll discover how to apply these principles in various contexts, from personal life to business strategy. Understanding and applying these concepts can unlock unprecedented strategic advantages. So, let's continue our journey exploring how we, we can channel our energy in the most effective way possible. Now, let's bring these ancient concepts into the modern world, Imagine a bustling startup, its energy pulsing like the heartbeat of a city. They've developed a groundbreaking product, but their growth has stalled. They're strong, but their strength is scattered, their resources stretched thin. This is where Sun Tzu's principles come into play. Think of their resources as their energy. Initially, they're trying to do everything at once, their energy dispersed in a thousand different directions. But then, they take a step back. They reassess. They reallocate their resources, focusing their energy where it'll have the most impact. They streamline their operations, cut off the dead weight, and prioritize their efforts. It's like a river, once wide and shallow, now channeled into a narrow, deep course. The same volume of water, the same energy, but now it has direction. It has momentum. It becomes a powerful force that carves through mountains. And the result? The startup's growth skyrockets. Their product reaches more people, their brand gains recognition, their influence expands, they've harnessed their energy, directed it with precision, and the impact is tangible. Or consider a social media campaign, a message that begins as a whisper, but as it gains traction, as more and more people lend their voices, it becomes a roar. It's a different kind of energy, collective and dynamic, but the principle remains the same. It's about unity, direction, the strategic alignment of forces. The campaign starts with a spark, an idea. It's nurtured, fed with content and engagement until it becomes a raging fire. It's a strategic use of energy, a mobilization of collective action that leads to a significant impact. It's a modern manifestation of Sun Tzu's teachings. These examples show us that the principles of energy in strategy are timeless. They apply as much today as they did over 2,000 years ago. 
Whether it's a startup reshaping its business strategy or a social media campaign stirring the masses, it's all about harnessing and directing energy. Just as Sun Tzu envisaged, the right alignment and direction of energy can lead to breakthroughs. Now, it's your turn to reflect. Ponder upon the areas in your life or work where you could harness the principle of focused energy. Could it be a project that's been lagging behind, or perhaps a personal goal you've been meaning to achieve? Imagine the power you could unlock by aligning your resources and directing your energy towards that single point of impact. Consider the possibilities. What if you could channel your strength and flexibility to navigate through the challenges? What if you could unify your efforts and direct them towards a common goal? Picture the breakthroughs you could achieve, the victories you could claim, and the growth you could experience. Take a moment, think about it. How can you apply these principles of energy and strategy to your own situations? It's an exciting prospect, isn't it? Remember, energy, when focused and directed, can be a game changer. Your journey to mastering the art of harnessing energy and strategy doesn't end here. It's a continuous process of learning, applying, and evolving. The power of focused energy can be transformative, and there's no limit to where you can implement these principles. Whether it's launching a revolutionary marketing campaign, making a breakthrough in your career, or even organizing your daily tasks, the strategic use of energy can lead to overwhelming success. Now think about it. Where can you apply the principle of focused energy for maximum impact? We'd love to hear your thoughts, your experiences, your triumphs, and even your challenges. Share your insights, let's learn from each other and build a community that's passionate about strategy. And remember, this is just the beginning. There's more wisdom to uncover in our exploration of the art of war. In the upcoming Chapter 6, we'll delve deeper into Sun Tzu's strategic insights. So, stay tuned. Join us in the next video as we continue to explore Sun Tzu's timeless wisdom. Until then, keep strategizing.